Today we'll look at a used UPS I grabbed from Facebook Marketplace. This thing was brand new in the box but many years old. Turned out it had a problem. It seemed to work normal in most respects and would power up and everything seemed to be okay but the minute I had any load on it, it would come up with this error code. The screen would flash this FO2 error code and screech away and generally the unit was working, it would still be powering the load but this error and beeping would get pretty annoying. A quick search online for this error code gave some conflicting results. The number one solution in Google didn't work. This reset procedure, no change. So I have my suspicions of what was wrong with it, but we can test. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts and assembly as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. So as with any repair, first step is we want to do a quick good visual of the unit. And well, since it's a UPS and relies mostly on the batteries, first place we want to look at is look at the batteries. There's two batteries in this unit side by side kind of attached together and they look pretty good. They're not swollen or cracked or anything. I have seen in previous teardowns where these batteries have boiled away to nothing and been broken cases and all the electrolyte gone. That's not the case here. These things are brand new. So I kind of suspect the age has gotten to them, but a quick look at the surface charge and they appear just fine. When we have 24 volt like that, well, that immediately makes me suspect that we have a capacity problem and we can test that, not with just the meter. We need to do some rigging here and the easiest thing to use is simply just an automotive bulb. Ideally, you should use two automotive bulbs in series or find yourself a 24 volt bulb, but for short bursts like this, just to load it down, the 12 volt bulb would be fine. They're pretty resilient, but if you blow it, so be it, it's just a bulb. With the meter hooked up in parallel at the same time, check out the voltage value. We're already down to 19 volts right away. This is what the UPS is getting angry about. As soon as there's any load, the surface charge on the batteries is just kaput. So uh, quite simple to fix this. We're, we could try to recover the batteries and desulfate them, but these things are so old, I think we might be better to just grab some new ones from Amazon. The price isn't too terribly bad, uh, considering I got this UPS basically for nothing. So yeah, easy enough. At about 100 Canadian pesos, prime delivered. That is pretty expensive, but not really for basically a brand new UPS. So we'll give them a go. A few days later, even labeled with APC, these are actual OEM units, not aftermarket. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. If they do as well as the originals, I don't think we can go too far wrong. APC clearly made this for being able to be maintained. They, they made it quite easy to change the batteries without tools. The case just snaps together. These tabs for easily pulling and handling the batteries and there's nothing to it. Just slide them in. Connections are a nice big kind of like a Anderson power pole type connector and yeah, slide it in, put the cover on, and we're done. and power up, no problem. Batteries are going to have to charge. They do have a, only a, a storage charge in them. They're basically flat dead. UPS recognizes that, but immediately starts charging, no problem. It does flag them as a, it's a little upset about them initially, but this clears up in just moments and batteries charge away. And I went ahead and put this on my i3 Mega 3D printer as a battery backup. So if I have any power hiccups, I don't wreck a print. I am happy with this investment. Uh, two new batteries and we're all set. But with the test we did, we know exactly what our failure mode is. We know that we were right in our repair and this unit 
barring any other new problems, should be in service for many years to come. Cheers, good luck in all your projects. <laughs>